he's gotten better and better to the point where I know that they didn't announce it right away, but there was no question who was taking the ball game one. Fires and starts his night with a strikeout. That's the curveball. You're going to see a slider that's tighter and a changeup that fades. There goes Schwarber on an 0-2, a swing and a miss, and a stolen base, but a second strikeout of his opening inning for Shane McClanahan. He's in start, delivers, and strikes him out. 100 by Devers. Cracks a base hit into center field. Over to cut it off, Hernandez. Franco thinking two out of the box. A juggle from Hernandez will send a Rosarena home. Rays one, Red Sox nothing, just like that. Uh, no one got in on him, rolled the third, won't be an easy play. Devers on the move, diving play is safe. And it's 2 0 Tampa Bay as Diaz beats it out. Dorba, who hits it up the middle. Lau knocks this one down. Feeds second for one. On the first, a double play. Here he comes. Hard stuff. Grounder into short right field for Lau. And that's the first clean inning of the game for Shane McClain. 19 players on this team acquired by trade, including this guy, Cruz, who hits one to the moon here. But did he get under it? Back to the wall. It hits one of the rings. It's in play and a live ball that allows Cruz to keep on rolling into third base. I think that's gone. But they are now signaling home run. Yeah, that's gone. So that hit a C ring and a home run for Nelson Cruz. You've got four rings up there, A and B. If it hits those, it's live and in play. If it's hit C or D in fair territory, it's a home run. And that one did to make it 3 nothing. Yeah, they figured out by the height of the ball and how, where it hits that ring, there's no chance it's going to stay in. And you could see this ball was crushed and it hits that right there. No chance it's not a home run. You got the small ring is A, you got the outer ring is B, and then you got the larger ring, which is C, which is where they hit it. Two out, one, two is pulled to third and caught by Diaz. Here he comes. Got in on him, broke the bat, bouncer up the middle to end the inning. Five scoreless innings for Shane McClanahan and halfway home in game one. Rosarena leading off the fifth, 3-2. High drive, way back, he'll admire it. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, long gone. His 11th postseason home run in 21 games and it's 4-0 Rays. Talk about lightning quick. It's lightning quick in the zone. I mean, that's just quick to the ball. Simple, young, powerful, and excitable. There goes Rosalina. He steals home in October. He timed it up. Watch how he times it. As soon as he goes to that. There was a timing mechanism that was taking place on every pitch. See how he goes through the late kick, and then it's just a little too late to try to make that move. What an incredible night for this guy. Oh, my. Randy Orozarena set in October on fire again. All star. Hits it way up there. Shallow center field. Kiermaier palms up, can't find it, and it falls. Boston catches a massive break. The bases are loaded. Wow. I'm telling you, it's been hard tonight. I mean, if you don't pick up the ball right away and you're trying to look, if you don't pick up that ball and stare at it, it gets caught in that ceiling. One two pitch. Got him with a high fastball. And the same awkward looking finish to the swing as Devers goes down on strikes for the second time tonight. No need to adjust the game plan. That's not 98 99, by the way. Oh, pitch. Had one to hit and popped it up. Right side of the infield. Yandy Diaz. The Rays are out of the bases loaded jam. Fly ball right field. Margot over the foul line and a shutout win in game one for Tampa Bay.
Bogarts has been a monster against Tampa Bay this season. Included a couple of hits last night. All-star shortstop goes after the first pitch and gives Boston its first runs of the series. Schwarber in the score on a base hit from Xander Bogarts. 1-0 Boston in the first inning. I don't know one for Dugo smashes a line drive into center field and they do get the second run in. Verdugo drives home Hernandez. 2-0 Red Sox. Solid defense. Reached a couple of times. Had an infield hit that scored a run. And has a big chance here in the first inning. He comes through with a base hit past Schwarber. Franco throws on the brakes. Retreats to third. Is in safe. And it's 2-1. And a base hit from the Andy Diaz. The 0-2. Fastball is turned around. Jordan Luplo. Great. Slam! Are you kidding me? It's 25-year-old rookie Tanner Hauk that comes on. I think this young man has a chance to be really, really good for the Red Sox. Boy. It does the trick, doesn't it? There's no doubt. I mean, and that's the, the that's the idea of pitching. Two balls, two strikes as Devers leads off the third inning. And drives this ball to center field, sending Kiermaier back with a lead and a grab. This is an unbelievable catch. Live, he goes at this wall in the kind of the angle, leaps, catches, and I mean that's a double or triple. Team Kiermaier in this ballpark. That's where all the distance is. The gaps to center field are a lot bigger. And he loves playing defense. That's a fly ball to left field. Rosarena is going back. He's out of room. It's gone. Xander Bogart's home run. And it's a 5-3 game. Second of the postseason for the All-Star shortstop. Right-handers 2-2. He is drilled the right. Deep it goes. Alex Verdugo hits it out. And they go back to back. Red Sox right back in the game as Bogarts and Verdugo go back to back here in the third. 3 2 pitch. Breaking ball back to him. Strike three called. And Brandon thought it might have been ball four, but home plate umpire. D.J. Rayburn called it a strike, and there's out number one here in the third. And an 0-2 hole this time, and strikes out on a filthy slider from Hauk, who's retired all five that he's faced. And oh. he's got it by striking out the side. Another oh, one 1-2 to Memo Margot is swung on and miss, and Hauk keeps on rolling. But his team's going to piece it together tonight after short starts. The cue to Hernandez. Lifts his ball to left on a line and beat Kiki Hernandez. Has tied the game. Three solo shots and tied at five. It is his ninth career postseason home run. A lot of breaking balls that at bat, and he got one that hung over the middle of the plate, and it was out of here fast. Third home run of the game for the Red Sox. Two strike pitch here. He is hit to the straightaway center field. Kiermaier back at the wall. It's gone. Another two strike bomb. Red Sox take the lead. Cruz leading off the sixth. Lifting this ball down the line. It's hooking towards the foul pole. And Verdugo leading and catching. What a play by Alex Verdugo. That's two great catches by outfielders. Kiermaier already showed what he can do. And this short point is just outside the race fan there. And you got to give him the chance to learn how to navigate. Troy the other way. Left center field. Back towards the wall. G man Troy with a home run. Did he reach over? Is this fan interference? As it stands, a solo shot that makes it 8 6. I, I honestly think this is going to get called back. Just from my live eye of what I saw, this is going to be a double. 
He reaches over and they're going to. Yeah. I think it's good. It might be. You're right. It's and it's a great catch. The follow through is what got me live. I think he's going to skate on this one. Home run. G Man Choi. 8 6 game. Sale lasted just one inning. Buzz only a couple. Vasquez punches a bouncing ball by first to give the Red Sox another run. Verdugo in to score, and it's 9 6. Lifts the ball to straight away center field. Kiermaier's back at the track, turns and watches it go. Devers joins the home run party. Two run blast to straight away center. Oh, two. Ground ball left side, eats up Diaz. Franco picks it up, makes it close, but it's late. And it's 12 6. On this one, two, Hernandez strokes another right center field. Kike Hernandez with his fifth hit of the game. Number five has five. He drives in two more, and it's 14 to 6. 2 2. On the hands, punched to short. It heads back to Boston, tied at a game apiece. Boy, if you if you know you're going to give up five runs with Chris Sale on the mound in the first inning, you're probably not feeling good about your chances. But then your offense goes out and gets 14 runs on 20 hits. There's a drive well hit out to right field. Renfro back on it, and it's gone. And just like that, it's 2 nothing Tampa. Austin Meadows gets the Rays on the board first today. Well, that's important for the Rays because they got a young pitcher on the mound that could use some cushion. Aggressive hitting team against aggressive pitcher. Rasmussen has been terrific in a starter's capacity for the Rays. Kyle Schwarber greets him with a high drive toward the monster. And that one goes! Oh, so it's going to be one of those days. Six batters to start the game, already two homers. The first leadoff batter to homer by a Boston Red Sox player in the postseason since Dustin Pedroia in game one of the 2007 World Series. It looks like a fastball. Lau puts it in play. Schwarber. Oh, wonky toss. Yikes. That's going to go down as an error on Kyle Schwarber. That one's going to get down. Another base hit for Kike Hernandez. And Boston has tied it at two. Back up the middle and through. A fourth straight base hit. They're going to wave Schwarber around. Throw to the plates too late. Boston takes its first lead of the day. 2 2 pitches bounced out to first. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> There's the momentum going towards the pitcher. <laughs> Rasmussen 2 plus. 2 1 to Kike. Hit a bunch out to left. And that one's gone. Oh, man. Kike Hernandez is the hottest hitter on the planet. Franco sends a ball toward the monster. Verdugo looks up and it's gone. To a one run game. And that's the beauty of this ballpark, right? Fastball away. I said you want to get the left handers to pull the ball and the right handers to hit the other way because of that wall. And those that can use that wall and go the other way. A Rosarena sends that into left center field. That's going to drop and roll all the way to the wall. The Rays have tied it. A Rosarena stumbled on his way to second. But still gets in safely with a double. Go ahead, run in scoring position. And a call strike three. A new narrative as we head to the bottom half of inning number eight. There he goes. And Kiermaier strikes out. Throw down to second he base. Third. Oh, Randy's on his way to third where it was vacant. Pavetta covers the bag and Rosarena gets back. Oh, got him with the high gas. He struck him out. Lead off the wall. 
Albertsons 01. To shortstop. Franco backhands it and gets a perfect wow. throw off to first. He made that play look way too easy. Got him anyway. To indicate, give him a sec. Well, he didn't need it. He is rolling. That hammer is heavy tonight. Tonight in his five at bats. Good. He has runs. Kiermeyer sends a ball into right center field. That's trouble. And that one's off the base of the wall. Diaz coming around to score. Kiermeyer to third. The Rays have taken the lead. It's an unbelievable break. It's being discussed now with Kevin Cash the fact uh -uh. that it hit Renfro and bounced over the wall. All right, here we go. And they're saying it's a double. Great. That's amazing. Do I hear number eight? Chris Sox Christian Vasquez doing his Carlton Fisk. Swings and misses on that fastball than ever this year. Goes to it here, driven to right center field, towards the gap. Renfro launches and makes the play. Hunter Renfro for the first out of the night with an exclamation on it. He waits on a 2 2. Sweet three way up out of the zone. Wow. Another 0 2 pitch. Got him this time with a high heat and a 1 2 3 first inning for Rodriguez. And it, it can be tough unless you've got some veterans that that really change the just what they did this year with a new cast of players. That is four consecutive strikeouts for Rodriguez. This one on a filthy changeup pitch. Meadows comes to a slider. Attacks the first pitch, hits it a ton, straight away center field. Third from Devers. Now it's Verdugo sending one towards the monster. That ball is off the monster. Bogarts races home on an RBI double from Alex Verdugo. Bringing Fenway alive, and it's 4 0. 3 2 to Martinez is hit in the air. Left field towards the wall, and another base hit. Banging off the monster. A long single. A five run third for the Red Sox. His 2 2 pitch. Yep. Got him swinging. Rounds it to first, and that aggressive play by Lupo will get them their first run. RBI for Austin Meadows. Lupo into score, and it's a 5 1 game. Cracks it in the air to center field. Hernandez going back on this one. It is gone. Franco and the Rays say not so fast. A two run game. On a two run shot from the kid. The one two. Bouncing ball to third. They go to second one. Loud of first. It's a double play. Fairbanks gets him out of the jam. And this game moves along to the eighth inning. The year you don't play it that way. In the air to right center towards the gap. That'll split it. Back to back extra base hits to open the eighth. It's a one run game as Kiermeyer drives in Zanino. Another fastball is punched through the right side base hit. Kiermeyer hits third and heads home. He's got a cannon, but the throws up the line. The Rays have come all the way back, and we're tied at five in the eighth. Randy Arozarena with an opposite field base hit. Three in a row for Tampa Bay to greet Brazier. One two pitch. 
Renfro pops it into right center field. Kiermaier or Rosarena come together. Kiermaier with a catch. Verdugo heads for third. Here's the throw. He's wow. Kevin oh Kiermaier. My. Throw of the year. What a short hop catch by Diaz. Has Kevin Kiermaier gotten him out of the inning? He has. On an 0 1 pitch, Hernandez. Looks right to left center field. It is Paul.